Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Plays the Binding Bias Rebirth. I lost on green mode last time. Bum bum ba dum. Maybe we should do a random or just an Eden run this time. Let's try an Eden run, and we'll try to we'll try to unlock some new stuff, see some new items, etc., etc. And then maybe next time we'll do a Zazel greed mode to try to get uh, to try to get uh, that Lilith unlock. But for now. I'm in greed mode. I didn't mean to be in greed mode. I'm sorry to do this. I'm sorry to lose the Eden token. Um, but we're gonna go Eden, hard mode, and begin. I don't want to do greed mode too much in quick succession, lest people maybe get sick of it. What in the world is this? <laughs> Burning basement, rotten baby shovel, 3VJPM41E. Uh, I mean, it seems like a good start. I I kind of can't see anything. Tyrone, I can't. S Tyrone, I can't see anything. It's real smoky in here, man. Um. In all honesty, I'd rather have the shovel than Mom's bra. There was a tinted rock on that room as well, but I'm gonna abstain from it, mostly because I don't have a um a bomb. Petrified poop. It's extremely good. Lucky us. That'll solve probably any money-related issues we might have on this run. And in terms of damage, we're fine. And then I'm just hoping to get some sweet crawl spaces with the shovel here. But uh, we have a, a winnable Eden run for sure. I'm a little salty about the way that I lost greed mode. I think if I'd known, um, I'd known a little bit more in advance about the boss that I was fighting, I'd be in a better position. I.e., I think I'll be in a better position next time. But I think that was a very winnable run that I kind of botched a little bit. Uh, but that's okay, you know, that's that's the thing with Rebirth, is that if you were getting sick of seeing everybody win all the time, it's gonna shake things up a little bit. Hopefully, is the idea, at least. Little Horn. I think this is a good time for us to use the Chariot card, probably, because this boss seems pretty annoying. I also can't see shit at all. <laughs> I'm looking at the display monitor right now. You guys can see a little better than I can. Wow. Chariot card went buck wild there. Uh, Mom's Pearls gives us range plus luck. We might as well explore the entirety of this floor. Somebody gave me a hot tip. By the way, if you're watching these and you think there's not going to be spoilers, think again, mister. Um, there, there is a good chance for there to be spoilers. Um, they said, get ready for the spoiler, that their deal with the devil after the mom's heart fight is now an actual deal with the devil. It's not just a, um, a portal to Shoal. That's extremely good news uh, to have in advance so I can actually check that room. I didn't check it on two runs ago when we went and fought that extra special boss. But uh, I will check it in the future, assuming, you know, time is of the essence. There's an understandable mistake, I hope. Double key room, two room. Two room is reroll all consumables on the ground. What kind of consumables do we want to reroll right now? Half red hearts and single pennies, probably. We'll leave single pennies. I mean, in, in bulk, single pennies are going to be awesome for us. By themselves, not that good. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll be able to use our uh, our blood bank to accomplish this as well. Man, we're... Like, Rotten Baby is going wild right now. This is an easy fight. A guaranteed deal with, with the devil here. A speed upgrade. And Guppy's hairball from our tiny little uh, devil deal in the, in the shoe closet here. What's a shoe closet? Oh, you guys don't have a shoe closet? We don't have a shoe closet either. I, w I wear, like, one pair of shoes for six months until the soles pop out and then, you know, just buy the exact same pair of shoes all over again. Since we can't reroll it anyway, we might as well take 30 touch. I'm an idiot. You know why I'm an idiot is because I, as I was placing that bomb, I was like, wait a minute, wasn't there some kind of change to bombs to make it so, oh, right, yes, they explode much faster now. Oh, well. Um, live and learn. We can leave the, the full bombs, or the single bombs. We still have three of them ourselves, so I think it might be more valuable to reroll them. A half heart, we're def or a full heart, we're definitely going to take. This is like a little teeny tiny shop here. Ooh, a spirit heart, lucky me. A second spirit heart, lucky me. We're not going to go to our shop because we're going to do the, the reroll thing. Unless I walk into that by accident, which is completely plausible. Seems very strong on this one. We'll leave the bombs, even though two bombs for one slot is probably a little bit better for us to actually take. Because I want to go for broke here. I want to I want to get some new stuff. I want to have the ability to get some new stuff. Play this guy three times. Okay. That is done. Let us go and we'll... Uh... If you sang Frozen there, by the way, you're part of the problem. But we'll take our key. These are probably no longer pennies. That's still a penny. These are still pennies. Oh, two room, 
only rerolls the consumables on that individual room. I am, let's put it this way, I'm a little out of practice, I guess, on those two rooms. Let's come back, get our keys. That's gonna cut like 30 points off our score. What a, what a ding dong. And we'll, uh, come up here instead and hopefully get uh, enough to buy something from our shop. That is, is that the jar? Or is that a different jar? Am I out of my mind or does that jar look more white than usual? That's the jar. <laughs> I, I basically wasted 15 cents there, but hey, I picked up the jar. So we know. Now, now I know I've saved myself in the future from the indignity of being like, hmm, there's a weird eyed white jar we've never seen before. Uh, let's, let's get the heck out of here. I'm embarrassed. It's time to go. Blow this up. Put a bomb down here as well. There's our second secret room. And it's got a lot of pills. Explosive diarrhea. Stay still. Full health. Full health. I can see forever. Tears down. Tears down is real bad. I never would have looked here for a second for a regular secret room. Got a decent amount of money out of it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Down to the next floor. I'm feeling okay with this run so far. It's not a bad Eden Star by any stretch of the imagination. Now all I need is um that guy to be the announcer for every single Thing that happens in Isaac. Curse of the Lost. Like, consider it, Tyrone, for Afterbirth 2, which will probably be announced, like, next week. Um, that's a joke, by the way. <laughs> I have no insider information on that. But Tyrone fucks with me on social media so much that I, sometimes I'm like, Tyrone, you don't know what kind of god or domerong I could bring on you. I'll just be like, hey guys, Tyrone told me Afterbirth 2 comes out in January. Bank it! Oh, we got a crawl space here. Um, but no, I, I have respect for Tyrone. Don't don't mess with T-Buddy. T-Dog. Uh, we'll take... I, I still don't know how I feel about pay to play. So you know what? This time, I'm just gonna take the compass. I like how the black market does also change the spirit hearts. Um, black candle compass for 2 HP, I'm, I'm relatively pleased with, to be honest with you. We should check out our library as well. Maybe there's some new books to make it even harder to turn our libraries into reroll pedestals. Which might be cool, actually. It was already happening so rarely, I don't really mind. Now, if I could actually like land enough shots to kill these guys so I didn't have to fight them into perpetuity, that would be awesome. Got an extra penny. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're not good, we're good. Okay, we're good. Taurus. I don't know if this is any good. I always take it, I have no idea if it's actually any good. Sometimes it's been good for us, sometimes it's been garbaged here. The initial speed down is really bad, but if we can get our speed up high enough to give us reliable invincibility, not every room, like I don't need to be greedy, but like almost every room, that would be awesome. If possible, at least. So, inside of our shop, I guess we're gonna buy pay to play. I certainly, uh, no love lost for, um, for uh, Little Baggy, an item that I still don't really have very much respect for. This is gonna hurt. I think we got pretty lucky. That one is about one shot away from blowing up. In here we get Book of Secrets, Telepathy for Dummies. What would you go with here? I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the shovel just for the I mean it did give us a black market, so I don't wanna insult it. I think what we should do is fight our boss, hope for HP, and then uh, if we do get some HP in the form of red hearts or spirit hearts, then we'll be able to take a deal with the devil. If not, well, I don't want to trade my spirit hearts away for a curse room chance until we see if we can actually get the deal with the devil here, because I can squander my deal with the devil chance. Mind you, we are going to get a guaranteed deal with the devil because we're fighting the fallen, but, you know, I'm, I'm starting to go cross-eyed a little bit here with these permutation chances. So get Taurus as buffed as possible. We're fast again. Oh, there we go. That should do it. Easy fight. Death's touch. Good lord. Well, I don't know why I would use it there, considering, but uh, all deals with the devil, or sorry, all, all chance of a deal with the devil has been taken away from us, which is okay. Death's Touch is an awesome item. We will come down to our curse room, hoping to swing a guppy item out of this, because we do get swing a guppy item, because we have guppy's hair, but swing, by the swing, swing by the all-American rejects, you know, swing, swing from the table, you know, everyone knows this. Uh, we got Squeezy, actually, out of our curse room, which is awesome. And we have so much time, I left the spirit hearts on the ground. 
We have so much time uh, here that I feel like we should also go to our uh, to our room here, uh, our our boss mob trap room, I should say. And I'm glad that we did because it is going to give us uh, like just walking here gave us a chance to get this Joker card. Now, can we buy a Spirit Heart? Because otherwise, if I use this Joker card, there's a pretty good chance we just can't take whatever's in our deal with the Devil. It's actually one of those rare times we kind of like want to fight Krampus. For right now, we don't we don't have to. Our bomb, um, or we don't know if we have to, I should say. Now, the battery charge is also pretty meaningless because we've already seen our black market. That was really dumb damage on my part. Full spirit heart down the drain. Now I just I don't think I can take a deal with the devil. Uh, it's, it's not getting any easier. Let's put it that way. I should I don't know if I should or should not have done these rooms. We can save our Joker card for later just to be safe. I mean, yes, there's a chance maybe I go to it and it's uh, it's uh, nine lives and they just let me take it, but we'll walk back and see if we get lucky. Maybe there's a curse room, or sorry, a tinted rock somewhere that I missed. We slowed down a little bit towards the end of this floor. Was it worth it? I don't know, but that's probably our secret room. I do know that. And that's going to be enough money to blow up our donation machine probably once or twice to get whatever we want. And that's okay. Um, yeah, we can't do anything on the black market. I mean, we can, but we shouldn't do anything on the black market, probably, even though there's a key beggar there. Maybe we'll blow that up, try to see what our card is. Wheel of Fortune, so then we'll blow that up. I'm also a biggest, the biggest idiot of all time. I could have easily hit myself again there. There is a spirit heart for sale, but I still don't think we can justify it. If I take Little Baggy, I lose the Joker card. Oh, who dares wins? Okay, it's good, actually. I'm happy to be fighting Krampus. We're only going to take it if it's Lump of Coal, but if it's Lump... Oh! <laughs> New attack! If it's Lump of Coal, we're going to be stoked. Yeah, and it, it is. So, you know, that was definitely actually well worth it. So, Lump of Coal was a good pickup for us there. Plus, in a relatively harmless context, we learned about Krampus's new attack. And our second secret room is... Uh, five runes... And some enemies. Algiz is good. Ansus doesn't matter right now. Awaz doesn't matter right now. Algiz doesn't matter right now. Okay, three Algiz runes. We're taking one of them down to the next floor with us. That was that was interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Okay. Pop this. Nothing. We're just gonna uh yeah, let's let's try to maybe make it to our curse room first. It's a little dangerous, but uh that, uh, that don't bother me, none. Don't really want to walk over those. Could use the Algiz room, but it's a little, a little premature for that, I'd say. This is probably our secret room, based on my experience. Really want to get HP and to deal with the devil here, if possible. That is an extra key, which I don't mind, and I will use a bomb here for dividends. And it, it paid out, even though the key beggar could have been okay for us as well. Um, we got a long, skinny one right before our boss room. No jokes about that. I can't wait for all the phallic jokes about room shapes and sizes in Isaac. This is a very interesting room. I don't know the repercussions of a, a narrow room with these enemies. Let's see what we've got in our boss fight. Could always Algiz if we have to. I'd rather not. Gertie is strong, but we're probably strong enough that we don't have to worry about using the Algiz room here. Lots of key uh, demand on this floor as well. There's a double key room. Obviously a shop, obviously an item room. That's about it, I guess. <laughs> no deal with the devil again. No special deal, and it tears down. No no special uh, black market, I should say, and it tears down. Womp, womp, that's not particularly strong for us, and I'm starting to get real self-conscious about our HP here. Starting to get in the habit of walking around that. Uh, I do want to go to our curse room, but I feel like I gotta do the due diligence thing and, and check on all these rooms first. It's been a little bit of a touch and go run, but we started very, very strong, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna really complain too much. I'm just gonna say, hey game, maybe give us some more deals with the devil. Oh, we don't need keys, right? Because we have a uh, pay to win or pay to play. Sorry. Um, what is this? D7 reroll rewards. Okay, so it doesn't reroll 
uh, pedestals. Rerolls rewards. I mean, you'd think that this would reroll like consumables on the ground is my initial reaction, but that doesn't make any sense because the D20 already does that. Okay, doesn't do that. What the heck? Reroll rewards. Just boss items? Maybe it just rerolls boss items? I'm, I'm running out of other alternatives here for what this could do. Hero font, so good. The Hierophant. No, sorry, the Hierophant. My mistake. Now it's finally I'm being corrected after years of muscle memory telling me the wrong name and, and embedding it in my brain in the brain of hus the hundreds of others out there. Husbands of others out there. Um, also, probably literally true. There are probably some other husbands out there. Shout out to my other husbands. What's up, guys? How's it going? How's life? Living the Vita Loca? Yeah. Red chest. Ooh, I think we have to take the rosary just for just for shits and giggles. Let's just try to use it on that guy. I was like, maybe we'll use it on Peep and see what happens. Nothing happened, of course. This is uh, now we put on our Sherlock Holmes uh, detective hats. We don't put on a Sherlock Holmes detective. That doesn't even make any sense. But then we put on our Sherlock Holmes detective hat and try to figure out what the hell this item does. I'm going to try to use it. Well, I mean, it doesn't make sense that it would be... Like, from a design standpoint, to me, it doesn't make sense for it to be a one-room charge item if it only rerolls boss rewards. But what else, what else is a reward in Isaac? I don't know. I don't understand. I'm going to end up using this item in all the wrong ways for the entire run, and then people are going to be watching out there. It's going to be obvious. There's going to be, oh, obviously you just freaking, you know, when Gertie is about to spit, you reroll the bullets. The bullets become coins or something. I don't know. Think about it. Think, think about it. Good cops been friends. Put into the can. All the money that we're making is going to the man. What man? Who's man? What man? What makes a man a man? Am I a man? Yes, technically I am. Okay. What do we got? It's a little flight of the Concords for you. On this fine summer afternoon here. It's not summer but it is 31 degrees Celsius inside of this office. You think I'm joking? I'm not joking. It is, this is like, there's a temperature gauge. Some people might call it the so-called thermometer on my wall here, uh, and it's reading 31 degrees Celsius. It gets hot in here with this computer running, and me, of course, just spouting hot air over and over. I mean, should I just be using this on every single room? Just to see what happens? Whoa! What the heck? I fought the room again. I I don't get it. So I can just fight the enemies endlessly if I if I like the consumables that I'm getting. Um I have no idea how that is actually going to help me. But I appear to have discovered how the item works to some extent. I guess if you're fighting like Blue Larry Juniors, you might be super into that. Or any enemy that gives you like a, an outcome that that is desirable versus one that isn't. Like for example, maybe you want to, maybe you don't care about fighting gluttony thirty times as long as you get um, HP out of it in the end. That was easy enough. Uh, Charm tears. I mean, we have to take it. We don't have a choice. I'm pretty much giving up on the idea of boss rush here. I wonder if this item is just straight up broken for dailies. Like if you can kill enemies fast enough to offset the timer. The, the time loss, I guess, from the time that you spend? Maybe? I don't know. Like, I shouldn't get too far into theory crafting for daily challenges here. I'm just throwing out, I'm spitballing some ideas here. And so much stuff to learn, man. Explosive diarrhea again. Not necessary. Still holding on to this Algiz rune because it could, you know, make an enormous difference in our quality of life. I don't really want to fight these enemies again. I'm waiting for, like, a room where I'd, I feel like I'd want to fight the enemies multiple times. Haven't discovered that yet. I wonder if you fucking did it on Boss Rush. That just, that titillates me, that idea. Card against humanity. A card against humanity. At least we got a spirit heart out of it. When, I'm gonna try to use it on the boss fight. Just to be a weirdo. So we'll kill Brownie, who we fight every single run now. Brownie, not an easy boss, but um, I don't mind fighting it twice in the name of science. 
Fight twice in the name of truth. In the name of poop. Okay, then one day I'll get to the right uh, area there. I think we got like some serious slowdown there. I have no idea. <laughs> I used the D7 that time. It cost me a deal with the devil. And teleported me out to a different room. Um, maybe it's... And we can use that to get a guaranteed teleport out of boss rush? I got no idea, man. Hopefully that deal with the devil is still there. But uh, again, this is all in the name of science. So, like, I don't feel too bad about it. I'm mostly just surprised about what happened there. I expected a couple of different things to happen. Neither of them were, um, teleport out to a completely different room. No, deal with the devil's gone, but we still got a torn photo. I mean, we're not going to do boss rush anyway, so I figured we'd just use it and we teleport it again to a new room. A room we've already done. Man, the D7. I can already tell you, this item is going to be annoying as a streamer. Because people, as soon as you pick it up, it, at least with my fairly ignorant understanding of how it seems to work, people are just going to be like, use it on every room! Over and over! Over and over! Yeah, but we're going to ignore that and... Uh, just play with it to our heart's content, which may be nothing or a lot, depending on how things go. I don't know, what happens if we use it on this room? Do we just teleport out? Nope. We definitely do not teleport out on this room. Again, boss rush is a, is a pipe dream for us. It's gone. We're not going to be able to do it. Life goes on. Oh, okay. Of course, Mega Ma's got some brand new attacks. Fantastic. I mean, it is a good thing, but uh, also, fuck. Nope, doesn't teleport us out of that room either. I mean, I guess maybe it's just a special case, like if you're on the boss room and teleports you out, because it's like, hey, you need the D6 to do that, fuckboy. Okay, we gotta try for Magic Mush. One makes you, one makes you small. Okay, I have, I've gotten a one makes you small pill. Hematemesis. Hematemesis. I'm learning so much about pronunciation here. We got like a mini mush pill. These are new enemies, are they not? I'm actually like, now I'm second guessing myself, like, wait a minute, are these even new enemies or am I just out of my mind? Uh, I think we'll take our special one, two of spades. We just bought 16 keys on the cheap, I'll take it. I don't want any of this other stuff, but I don't want to reroll it yet, just because I don't know. Or don't, sorry, I don't want to just uh, donate our money because I might be able to reroll it in the future because I have no idea how the item we're using right now exists. I got a spirit heart out of these guys, so maybe I want to just throw that spirit heart away to fight them again. Nope, that did not work. One of these days. One of these days, this will work. Okay, come in here. Five room. We could do this floor all over again. Normally, I think that that is a great decision. Wow, money equals power as well. Um, I, I actually think that's a pretty good decision to do that most of the time. But the problem is we're on the depths too, so I don't know how I'm going to get to the mom fight and then also get out. You know what I mean? Like, I can't teleport out of the mom fight. Unless we beat mom, walk into the room, and then use our D7, and then re redo this whole floor. Am I... I'm not out of my mind, right? That one, that should actually work, knowing what we know about the D7. I should be able to use that, not to teleport out of boss rush, because we won't make it. But to, or we already have not made it, I should say. Uh, but to teleport out of the mom fight after beating mom and picking up the Polaroid. I don't know. Right, we're gonna try. It's gonna be fun. Let's do this. We also now have a knife following us around. Um, does anyone, anyone know how that happens? Was that one makes you small? Where did this trailing mom's knife come from? It's actually pretty awesome, I gotta admit. No deal with the devil. Alright, we'll take this, and we'll teleport out. It worked! And we're right where we need to be anyway. I'm so confused about what's happening right now, but I'm loving it, man. I got nothing wrong with nothing to complain about. Alright, boss trap room. Yeah, it's Robo Baby 2.0. It's not quite good enough, I think. Not quite good enough to justify the time spent. I don't think we can just teleport out of the room either, unfortunately. I will trade a spirit heart to try this, and we worked out just fine. Still got our Algiz rune as well for some unknown purpose in the future. What have we done to this enemy? We turned them into into gray. Earth row, that's good. 
You know what we can do now is take Perthrow down here, reroll this bad boy. Becomes Chemical Peel, and then we'll try to leave. No. <laughs> uh, well, Chemical Peel's fine. It's not anything really to write home about, but it's not bad. This guy with his new attacks. Aye, what? He's got the he's got the worm effects. Was that worth it? I mean, I think so. We'll take this new trinket as well. Brown cap, Fartoon. All right. Pretty standard stuff, really. Okay. Some of these new champions, I haven't memorized what they do when they die yet. I was gonna say there's like an invisible one somewhere. One of them became like invisible ooze or something. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Good damage, great damage, good damage. Um, I could probably uh, try to get those spirit hearts. I would probably recommend it. Mystery sack. Considering we don't have a choice in the matter, we might as well take it. That's my philosophy on that. It's a very rude item room if you don't have a bomb. And then in here, we got some new items. So I'm thinking, even though we have money equals power, I want to try to buy that, that new item there. What is that? Diplopia. Double item vision. Is this the one that doubles the items on the ground? I believe it is. So we don't want to use this on something as uh, as simple as that uh, D7. And don't get me wrong, I was enjoying the D7. We had a good time with the D7. But this is one of those items that, I, if I remember correctly, it got teased. And I believe you can use this with like a, a Yara rune and get like quadruple items. But it's all the same item, and they synergize with one another, if I remember correctly. So we're gonna try. We're gonna see how this works. That was, um... That was, uh... Uh, what was I gonna say? Cricket's head, obviously we would've gone for it. I believe it also doubles everything on the ground as well, but the item pedestals is the big one. Alright. So I wanted to get in there, because we have money equals power. I'm trying to walk around in this weird semicircle, because we have a knife trailing us for reasons that... To be honest with you, I don't remember. But it's doing a lot of damage when I can get it done. This time we did get a deal with the devil. I mean, we might as well take the negative, I guess. We got the negative end Polaroid. And Satanic Bible. I don't really want to take Satanic Bible, to be honest with you. So we will leave. I could take it, uh, you know, I should take it and use it once. We're basically trading one for one to have permanent Polaroid invincibility. That's, that's a smart idea. Where am I hoping to use Diplopia? On the chest, I guess. If it actually works... I don't know, maybe we'll open this stuff up too. We don't really care about our keys, we care more about our money because we have money equals power. So, these give us cash, which they have largely been doing, and keys to be honest with you, then I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. We've gotten like already one damage upgrade for money equals power. And that's basically all we're gonna get, uh, from this room at least, but we broke even on keys as well. This is kind of a cool, uh, kind of a cool, uh, Double key room, not double key room. Uh, cool mob trap room. I mean, it's much better to... Store credit, unfortunately, doesn't help, I think. Uh, it's much better for us to have four golden chests than one golden chest, assuming we have the keys. Like, well, we don't need to teleport as much as we probably will need some invincibility in the future. That's my philosophy, at least, is like, you know, one golden chest, you're like, ah, it's unlikely to be that good. Four golden chests... I know that it's maybe a, a probabilistic fallacy or something here, but you're like, well, there's a much better chance of getting one half-decent item, maybe. And that's really it. It's like you don't need them to each proportionally be good. You just need one of them to give you Guppy's head. We'll go back for that. Here it's episode four of Rebirth, and I'm already in we'll go back for that territory. How do I feel about Rebirth so far? Honestly, it's way too early to tell, but the first couple of runs I had, and the Greed Mode run, I had such a positive impression. Like, that... that... Lilith run on the daily challenge was so different than anything I'd ever done before and then of course that like incredible Like marathon run for episode 2 was so cool With the new bosses and stuff like that um, You know it, it's way too early to to judge the the expansion as a whole right now But those two runs were almost worth the cost of admission by themselves there. Oh lord Okay, so we press the one button Press the second button I like those rooms too, or at least I like the idea of them. More kind of like puzzly rooms. We can get through this one. Poop's not coming back. Thank God. Um, 
Yeah, I like the idea of more of those puzzle rooms. Like, there, there's the one in Rebirth, before Afterbirth came out, that has, like, the four rows of turrets that shoot, and then the spikes that come up and down, and you kind of got to learn the optimal strategy for those. That room was really cool. I'm, I'm glad that there's more. By cool, do I also mean, you know, soul-crushingly annoying sometimes? Yeah, man. If you only have one HP left, that's that's the end of the world as you know it, but not not probably, but, you know, there's a chance. Hmm. Well, if we get the Bible, we can get all of these books, but it'll cost us a spirit heart. But it will gain a spirit heart as well, so... Probably should, right? Book of Revelations. There's our spirit heart back. Anarchist Cookbook. Book of Belial. Um, which could be used to guarantee us a deal with the devil. But I kind of want to keep Diplopia anyway, just to try to give us a deal with the devil. If that makes sense. Like, it's not to give us, but to benefit from a deal with the devil. Like, I have no idea what happens if we double our devil pedestals. I gotta choose when to use the item. I, I give it like a 90... No, that's probably not fair, but... I give it like a 75% chance of us just whiffing on the item anyway, because I think it's single use, and it, it has to be in like a specific subset of situations. These guys are real fast. Um, that's my understanding, at least, or my, my hunch, so... I don't know, we'll just... We'll try, man. I wonder if you could use this to make getting the cube of meat achievement like a lot easier. If you just had like... Um, Diplopia, and then you just got two cubes of meat instead of one. That cuts out a lot of the, the hassle. So we did get no deal with the devil. I guess we'll just head down to the next floor. Pretty standard run, except for the, the weird new items that we got. Uh, which have been fun. Largely. D7, I still almost have no idea. My thinking is you use it like a D10, but to fight a room again so you can get more rewards out of it. Which seems to me to be kind of like Feast or Famine. Like, it could be good. You could milk... Uh, Oh, we're invincible now. You could milk like a Blue Larry Jr. room, assuming it, it always summons as Blue Larry Juniors, um, to, to just get as many spirit hearts as you can hold, but uh, it, it didn't really seem to find a, a place to fit in ours. That's okay. Probably go to the right here, if I had to guess. Yeah, that's, that, that is my guess. I'll leave the, the theory crafting about Diplopia, by the way, to other smarter Rebirth content creators for now, and then I'll piggyback on their insight as time goes on. Like, for example, I was like, what if you get Blank Card, Gera Rune, and you use Diplopia on a shop that also has a battery in it? And I was just like, you know what? Let's, let's wait for that to happen to Cobalt. <laughs> and he can do it, and then we'll just piggyback on that later. Alright, so Mom's Heart. The last time we fought Mom's Heart, two episodes ago, it wasn't even close. We just destroyed. Man, this mom's knife trailing behind me is so good. We had kind of a similar experience here. Uh, and our deal with the devil is... I mean, the ability to fly for three? I guess we should. Are we going to try to fight the... 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 the oh, I forget the name. <laughs> are we going to try to fight this enemy here? I think we are, I guess. Um, we see items. We should diplopia them, maybe. The sun? I think we're gonna die. If I had to guess, I would say we're probably gonna die. Blank card sun, won't you come and wash away the rain? I don't think it's that useful for us, actually. Full health is also not that useful for us. Um, you know what we, I will do? Just to be a little bit more on the safe side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just completely ruin my donation machine's life. And I'm doing so to get as much money equals power bonus as we can. This enemy has so much HP. I really think we gotta go for it. And, like, I'm not not loving the fact that we're getting two cents per bomb here, but... You know, it, every every extra little bit of bonus damage we get is important. Now, this is a full health, so it's actually meaningless. Blank card, by the way, I think is also meaningless for us. But there we go. We're gonna get, like, 65, 63 cents, something like that. Somewhere in the middle. Um... Let's check out our item room. We have to try the new item. Even though scapular could be cool, let's try the new item. Kidney bean. Love toots. I imagine these are charm farts. So that was actually a bad pickup for us. But we learned something that will be useful in our rebirth career. Uh, out of these, there's no question we have to take Holy Mantle. Um, what's this rune? Algiz, right? We have to take that. Let's do it! A uh, hush. That was it. Now the first phase is... Uh, is nothing special, man. That's what we learned. We like two shot it on our last run, and I was like, this boss is easy. Uh, little little do you know what it becomes later. Wish that we've gotten to use our invincibility there. Okay. Do we still have our holy mantle bonus? I certainly hope so. 
This could be tough. And by could be, I mean I really sincerely expect it to be uh, an outside chance of our victory here. But we got good damage, um, which should, again, put in perspective how difficult this boss actually is. We have the Algiz rune that we can pop if things get tough, and we do have a lot more spirit hearts now. I don't know if we got those just by killing Hush. I wasn't paying attention. Did we get those for Kidney Bean? Now I'm like, maybe we got a chance here. I mean, every time we hit, we get hit, we're going to have permanent Polaroid invincibility, and we've got that knife surrounding us. We might have a way out of this. Maybe one more thing checked off of our uh, post-it note here. We're doing really well so far, to be honest with you. I mean, it's no Tiny Planet uh, Loki's Horns type situation, but it's uh, it's going real well. Tiny Planet Mom's Knife Loki's Horns, of course, is what I mean to say. We're like halfway through the fight. It's a war of attrition so far. The real benefit right now seems to be that the enemies can't really hit us. Like We're hitting the boss at the same time we're killing the enemies surrounding the boss because of the fact that um, we have uh, Death's Touch, basically. Sorry, where is my permanent Polaroid invincibility? Permanent Polaroid invincibility doesn't apply down here or something? No, that was Holy Mantle that just got hit. Oh, we're gonna win. We're probably gonna win at least. And that's awesome, because I didn't expect that that would be what would happen here. Uh, Rotten Baby Fly, could you please take the effort to get in there? You know, we really, at this organization, we admire individuals who have initiative. Gotta, yo, yo, Tyrone, you gotta make the flies target Hush, man. Those are that why did I buy a hive mine? I don't understand. These flies are extremely tanky. Okay, we got hit, we got some invincibility. You know what? That's kind of what I was banking on here. We also still have our Algiz rune available, which is very surprising to me. I seem to be relatively safe in this spot. No, nope, that's it. I got hit, but we're almost done. Don't get hit again. It would be the worst if you won this and then died to Isaac. Alright, we've, we've completed this with Eden. We've unlocked Eden's Blessing. Cool. Uh, let's, let's go to the chest. I still want to try to use Diplopia on the chest. If possible. Okay, we got the compass. Where are we going? To the right. Probably down and right, but we'll try just regular right first. That is a very, very diminutive uh, fly there. Also, when did we get the ability to fly? <laughs> Do you get that just for beating that boss? I don't know. Were we flying already? I'm in an, I'm in another world right now. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just a vessel for, for Rebirth to run itself through. Um, I gotta admit, pretty strong run right now. Rotten Baby's gonna be extremely useful. Good tarot. Yeah, decent tarot. I can live with it at least. And uh, just keep moving here. We, we do have Lump of Coal, right? That wasn't like, I've been playing a lot of Afterbirth today, as you might expect. I don't want to get my runs confused. Okay, it's very important still that we don't take damage. I Now, with Diplopia, I'm like, do we use it after? I'm assuming we use it after we crack into the items. Rules. Sleeping, oh my god, I just skipped over it because I thought it would be Chub just like Smoke, but it was actually a new one. It said like, Sleeping Gatekeepers something something something. Well, you can always pause the video and see. It's not like it's lost to the ether forever. Okay, what is this? Spirit Arts. No. Emperor card. Well, you know what? We should probably use Algiz on our boss then. After I used it, he said Algiz too. It's like he knows. Well, we're definitely going to kill Isaac easily. I don't know, like, this knife following me around. I don't know what item I picked up with it, but it is pretty slick. I'm okay with it, man. Please tell me I didn't leave before he actually died. New chest animation. Jump on in there. And... The chest. Okay. Diplopia. No. We'll, we'll open... We'll get the items first, and then we'll Diplopia. Oh my god. Proptosis. Little hunt. It worked! Two times Proptosis. Two times Little Haunt. Two times whatever the heck this is. Host hat. Two host hats. I have no idea. But it's beautiful. You know, I don't even want to use the Emperor card. I kind of want to see how our damage is with double proptosis. This enemy, like, only moves when we're looking at it or something. I've played video games before. I don't know. Double proptosis seems to be doing a little less damage than I would have expected. Just throwing that out there. 
Uh, it's not bad, though. I'll also say that. <laughs> well, let's see what that item is. Maybe it can be, like, Polyphemus. Unicorn Horn. I mean, we don't have a space bar item, but I don't really want to use Unicorn Horn. I want to use these dope tiers that I, that I put all this work into for. Ah, okay, we're fine. We don't need the keys. What is this? The Fool. We don't need the Fool. I'm still hoping to get new items. I can't remember if we got much in the way of, uh, like, luck upgrades, but... This was also a really fun run. I really like the idea of Diplopia not doubling the pedestals, but actually literally doubling the items that you get. That's such a cool thing to think about now for synergies. Like, what items actually do you benefit having, uh, having two of them on? I don't know, man. But I'm, I'm happy we got a chance to discover it. Petrified Poop again. This is a great score as well. Like, this isn't a daily, but if it were a daily, we would be in a great position. Just throwing that out there. This is a 37,000 point score. When I did the daily today, the highest score on that was 21,000. Miter is still pretty good. Great work, okay. And finally, our blue baby fight, where I will just try to finish it as soon as possible with this sweet trailing mom's knife. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one as well. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.